Yours me a boy, shown on boy, here today, I'm here today to do a review of My Academia Season 7, Episode 5. Let's get straight into this, if you've not, you know, watched the latest episode of My Academia Season 7, Episode 5, go and watch it, and then come back to this review. Okay, let's get straight into this in 3, 2, 1, let's go. So, um, this episode, uh, we get into the, uh, war that's going to happen between the, uh, heroes and the, uh, villains. Um, we, um, you know, the last three episodes have been just kind of building up, um, um, you know, what's going to happen next um, with, you know, the villains getting their forces ready and the heroes getting their forces ready and also finding out, um, you know, who was the, uh, you know, traitor um, in the UA in Class 1A. Um, it was uh, Yamada the, uh, you know, laser boy, and, uh, you know, we find out, you know, why he was doing all this, and he was, uh, you know, why he was, uh, telling everyone where Class 1A was, and giving all the information to, uh, you know, All For One, and, you know, just, you know, um, he wasn't, he was doing it because, uh, his, uh, parents were held hostage, uh, by All For One, and he had to do this because if he didn't, his parents would die, and I kind of, um, you know, kind of understand where he's, uh, coming from, I did did not particularly like uh, Yamada as like a character. I thought he was a very, you know, um, basic sort of like boring character that I didn't really take, you know, very much notice of. But when uh, we found out that he was the uh, traitor in Class 1A and he was he was giving all the information to uh, Awful One, I was just like, oh, okay, so this is the reason why he's been doing all this and this is the reason why you know, Awful One always knows what's going on with Class 1A is because, you know, Yamada has been giving him all this information uh, because, I um, mean, you know, his mum and dad have been, you know, held uh, sort of, like, captive and, like, um, in their being in a, in a hostage situation and it's because, you know, Yamada um, didn't have a quirk. He was quirkless and then, uh, you know, Awful One gave him a quirk and his mum and dad, you know, wanted him to have a quirk so they went to Awful One to get him a quirk and he, and he got, you know, the uh, laser beam quirk and it wasn't a very, you know... Um, you know, it wasn't a very strong quirk or anything like that. It was just a, you know, a laser beam that came out of his, uh, you know, um, out of his, like, belly button or something like that around his, like, you know, chest, I mean, chest area. And, like, you know... And, uh, you know, and then, um, once he got that quirk, um, you know, uh, um, you know, one for all was just like, okay, now that I've given you something, um, now you're going to be underneath my thumb for the rest of your life and you're going to do what I say or else your mom and dad are going to die. And then, um, you know, and that's a big, um, you know, burden for a, you know, for a teenager to take on, um, that if, like, I don't, you know, follow what Awful One says, um, my parents are going to die, um, and he gave me this quirk, and, uh, you know, I can become a hero now, but, like, you know, now I have to, like, go behind my friend's backs, and, you know, and do all this dirty work and everything like that, and he does view himself as a villain, and he does, uh, you know, understand what he, um, has done is wrong, um, but in this episode, he kind of redeems himself, um, when he, uh, you know, tells, um, you know, all for one, um, you know, to come to the area where they have this sort of like, you know, um, where they're going to clash and, uh, he tricks all for one to come here and, uh, you know, and all the villains, uh, you know, come out of this, like, black glue, um, type of thing, and, uh, you know, and all the heroes come out of, like, you know, the portals, and, and they're about to clash, and it looks really cool, and I really, you know, enjoyed this episode, it was, uh, you know, um, you know, it's kind of just setting up, um, you know, what, um, you know, pretty much the same thing that's happening, uh, you know, in the past, you know, three episodes, where it's just been setting up, um, the war that's going to be happening, and I'm assuming that this war is going to go on for a very, very long time, because I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that the manga, um, the, I think the manga is just finishing, um, right now, so, like, we're going into the war part that must, um, you know, um, will last for a very, very long time, and for the rest of the, uh, season, so we're going to get into some action, which is really good, because the past couple episodes have just been kind of set up, and, you know, not very much action has been happening. The first two episodes have been, was really good action, but, you know, the 
But the last, you know, three episodes have been kind of just like, you know, setting things up, uh, finding out what happened to, uh, you know, Yamada and him being the, uh, you know, the, him, him, you know, giving all for one, all this, uh, you know, all the, uh, you know, information and him being, you know, the uh, mole in Class 1A and him being the traitor and then, you know, them finding out and everything like that. And then Class 1A, you know, getting ready uh, to fight the villains and the villains, um, you know, are building up their forces and Shigaraki is, you know, better now, I guess you could say, and now it's going to, uh, you know, the war is going to start now, so yeah, so that's basically the uh, nutshell of the episode, um, that's what pretty much happened, uh, you know, not very much else to talk about, um, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of, like, you know, Yamada and what happened, uh, you know, in these past, you know, three episodes with him being revealed as, like, the traitor, and, you know, because I didn't really like his character to begin with, I wasn't really, you know, that big of, of a fan of his character character, but then we found out that he was the traitor um, in Class 1A, so then that gave him a little bit more, you know, I guess, character development, but I was already like, eh, I don't really care too much about this character, and when I, I, when I first found out about, you know, him being the traitor, I did not like him at all, but he sort of redeemed himself in this episode, which I'm glad he kind of did that, so uh, yeah, but uh, yeah, but uh, that's pretty much all I have to really say about this uh, episode, I give this episode a good solid 7 out of 10. It was a, you know, all right episode. I enjoyed it. And the last couple of episodes have been, you know, all right. It's just been, you know, pretty much set up for this war. So yeah. But anyways, until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Um, um you guys later. Uh, this is your boy Shonen Boy signing out. You know, like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, what did you think about you know the um this episode and the last couple episodes? What do you think about um you know Yamado um coming out as like the traitor and um you know him redeeming him redeeming himself here? Uh, do you think um you know he is um okay now? Um, or do you still like hate him or um you know any um and uh um what do you think is going to happen next with the uh villains and the uh heroes uh, in a clashing um who um you know uh, you know, who's going to, uh, you know, die, I'm assuming someone's going to die at some point, and who's going to, you know, win, um, put your thoughts down below, and until next time, I'll talk to you guys later, and have an awesome day.